What's up guys, Gary here with soft.dev. I finally figured out how to get my camera to work right and now I can shoot in 4K. You can see like the finish details of my hair. It makes me super happy. Anyway, in this video, we are gonna go over how to boot Kali Linux from a flash drive. Before we get going, a few of the most popular questions from last time. One, you can get back to Windows after this. All you have to do is restart your computer and it will boot back into Windows. That's assuming you don't install Kali Linux over Windows though. So make sure you use the live version, not the installer as we'll go into in the tutorial. Um, and with that said, also back up any important files you don't wanna risk losing because there is a small risk of that. Um, and then you do need at least an eight gigabyte flash drive to do this. So make sure you have at least an eight gigabyte flash drive. I have a 32 gigabyte SanDisk flash drive. If you need to use the same one I'm using, look in the description and I'll have a link where you can get that. So let's go. Now we need to download what we need to download. The first thing we're going to get is rufus.ie. This is going to let us write our Kali Linux ISO to a flash drive. So I will have links to both of these sites in the description if you need them, but this is rufus.ie. We're just going to go down to downloads and get the most recent version here. Mine is 1.3.13. Uh, I've already got it downloaded, so I'm not going to do that. It shouldn't take too long, but when you get it downloaded, just run it and it should pop up like this. Um, we're gonna customize these settings in a sec, but this is what it should look like when you've got it. Next, we're gonna go to kali.org slash downloads and download the Kali Live version. Make sure you get the live, not the installer. This will try to install it on your hard drive. And you can do, you can dual boot, like you can have a partition for Kali and a partition for Windows, but that's a different video. So we're gonna get the live version here. If you're on Windows, make sure you've got a 64-bit OS. You probably do if it's any kind of like relatively new computer. Um, if you're on Mac, um, from what I've read, a lot of Linux stuff isn't compatible with Mac's newer hardware, so I'm not sure if this will work for Mac. PC, got you though. Um, and then if you have a 32-bit OS, make sure you use the 32-bit live version instead of the 64-bit. That download took me anywhere from like two to three minutes. I've already got it downloaded though, so I'm not gonna do that again. But once we've got it downloaded, we're gonna pull up Rufus here. You're gonna select your flash drive. Mine is 32 gigabytes, so I know this is it. And then we need to select the boot selection. So we click on the select here. You will go to wherever you downloaded the Kali ISO. You'll just double click on that to open it. Now, by default, when Kali Live runs, it is in read only mode. So it's not gonna save what you do. Um, like if you save some files on there, you restart, come back, the files aren't gonna be there. We can make it persistent by increasing this little bar to as much as you want or as little as you want, but that'll let us save data on there. And that's all we need to change. After that, you'll just click start. It will reformat your flash drive. So make sure you don't have anything on there you don't wanna lose. Make sure this is like an empty flash drive pretty much, um, but it'll have a pop-up or we can, I guess we can do this. Yeah, it'll pop up with this, click yes. And when you see this, click yes. It's just warning you that it's gonna be reformatted. I'm, an, I'm not actually gonna install it again because it takes like 16, it took me 16 minutes to reformat and write to the flash drive, but click yes on both of those options and it should run through the process and do that. And then when you're done, it should look something like this. So that's how we know we've got it written to the flash drive. Now we are gonna go mobile because I can't really record on my computer when I'm in advanced options mode, so. Now go ahead and plug in your flash drive and then we are gonna go down to the search bar here and type in settings and open that up. We're gonna go to update security, recovery, and advanced startup restart now. If you don't have any of those options, restart your computer while holding down shift and that should get you to the advanced options menu. If that doesn't work, then restart your computer while repeatedly pressing F2, 3, or 4 and that should get you here. And if that doesn't work, just Google your computer model and advanced options menu and use whatever comes up to get to the advanced options menu. So we're gonna go down to use a device and my flash drive is this UEFI SanDisk, so I'm gonna select that option. If it doesn't let you select an option there, you might need to disable secure boot mode. So look in the description, I will have a link on a video that helps you disable secure boot mode. But after you've done that, should bring it to Kali Linux like this. If you boot into the live system, this is gonna be in read only mode, so it won't save anything you do. We're gonna go to the live system persistence, this is where it will save what we do, and we'll just give it a second to boot up here. 
And there we go, we are in Kali Linux now. It's got my new folder here from the last time I booted into persistence mode. So if you save stuff here, it should save. If you need to get back to Windows, all you need to do is click this and click restart and it will reboot your computer and boot back into Windows. But I think that's about it for this one. If you guys have any questions or comments, let me know in the comment section below. There's also a Discord link in the description if you want to come hang out in Discord, talk tech with me and other developers, or just ask questions, anything like that. And I will see you guys next time. Peace. Round one.